Matt, let's go back to you briefly. And uh, I guess there's some new stuff coming out to uh, clandestinely collect data from your enterprise. Or your <laughs> no, this, this, is, this is actually kind of interesting. Um, Sammy Kamkar, who you've probably heard of from the Sammy Worm and many, many other interesting exploits over the years, uh, has put together a, a tool, um, I think it's called Key Sweeper. And what it's doing is it's basically a hardware device you plug in about the size of a USB charger. I think he actually built it into the case for a USB phone charger. And it's designed to sniff for 2.4 gigahertz wireless signals, in particular Microsoft wireless keyboards, and decrypt the keys that are being typed and either save them to the device or send them over uh, a 2G wireless connection. Yeah, so he, he's actually weighed out the bill of materials and his, his process for developing it. It's based on a few older uh, devices and attacks but this is really the, the, the proof of concept physical device that you can show to someone and say, hey, we actually have to worry about this because someone has built this that they walk into you know, a business, plug it in and walk out, mm -hmm. we're owned. Wireless key logging. Exactly, and it's, wow. it's, it's interesting. He talks a bit about the, the protocol that's actually being used in the 2.4 gigahertz band is somewhat encrypted, but it's using the MAC address of the device XORed with the traffic as the encryption mechanism. And it seems that at least the first byte of that, that MAC address is always the same because it's always a Microsoft device. Mm -hmm. So that's you know cryptographic known plain text sort of thing. The, he's a really good write-up on the site. I recommend anybody go out and look at it for the, the technical details for how it's you know, pieced together piece by piece. Um, and it's, it's two different hardware, two or three different hardware versions depending on your budget and interest. So it's, it's I don't know, this sort of stuff is always exciting to me because yeah. it's it's something you could have done a while ago with a laptop and a little bit of specified hardware and you know sat down at a desk and, and done it. But now you've got it packaged and weaponized. It's just a, a drop and go sort of attack. That sounds like spy stuff that exactly. you're talking about. I look yeah. forward to reading about it. This reminds me of the, it was Power Strips not too long ago. Yeah. Where yep. It was a, basically a Wi-Fi sniffer, if mm -hmm. I remember yeah, correctly. The, uh, the Pwn plug was one of them. You've, you've got a whole set right. of devices like that that are, are tailored for specific wireless or specific network technologies right. that you just plug in and go. So. Yeah. Wow. I want to thank you for those chargers, by the way. No, no, no. <laughs> they don't have the Bluco logo on them. <laughs> yeah, so the, again, it's, a, it's just, now we talked to, this is basically the second physical access type attack that we referred to today. You know, there, there's that uh, impermeable security principles that we've uh, referred to a number of times, that once you get physical access to the devices or physical access to the environment, you really have lost your control of security. So uh, I think that's one of the, you know, we need to be kind of putting yeah. the things in the context here. That is, if you have access to the Mac and the, you know, you've lost physical control of it, then you've probably lost the access or the control of the uh, software. This is a similar kind of situation, a little more complex to deal with if you can bring something in in your pocket and, you know, not necessarily a trusted individual. I know uh, a lot of organizations have gotten a little lax on escorting people into buildings and the activities that they're performing, and so maybe we need to up the ante a little bit here to make sure that uh, folks are, you know, trust but verify. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's important to, to see not only what yeah. are people taking out of the building when they leave, which is the, the common threat that they'd steal proprietary mm -hmm. inf information or something right. or a key. It's what they leave behind now that you also have to worry about. Mm -hmm. That we're going to have to up the ante on our physical security. Yep, absolutely. Well, and then you know there is the uh, there, I mean at least in the context of this scenario, uh, there are more secure protocols that could be used rather than basically broadcasting the signal, and uh, perhaps that's an option that needs to be considered as well. Yeah, you know, I think Bluetooth gives you a little better security. Um, protection against sniffing. There's right? at least uh, a pin in some pairing cases for Bluetooth. Uh, not all, as mm -hmm. I found out. Some of the cheaper hardware will have a default pin of one two three four zero 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 zero, which gives you next to no, you know, protection. In fact, I'm finding more devices with uh, requiring the pin. Really? Okay, yeah. that's that's good to hear. Yeah, that's good.